Hello everybody, I never made a video for this series in a while so I decided this. So in this video you're going to be learning about random numbers. And random numbers can be very useful. So in handy especially in games when you have like random numbers for like when the enemy is going to attack or how much damage your attack does or blah 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 so many different options. So anyways, but even in software programming they have random numbers but maybe not as frequently as games. But every single game has a random number in it. Alright, so anyways, or every good game I should say. So include IRO stream and I'm gonna include uh C time and I think you can also include um time.h I think time.h is the C++ version it would, it, it's better to post the C++ version because um they put the C version I think C because for C time for backwards compatibility but I'm in UC time so I'll just UC time and include um stdlib.h and or include CSD lib for the Note this it out today that you need this because you should make a habit of using this because this makes it identify what type or what the function should actually do this library does it like say the sran function um say it said float here without um this identifier right so if i were to put in a floating point number right and then um but it really want an integer number then it could screw up everything and stuff it's kind of sounds confusing um basically you should include this and I um uh I'll send you a link I'll send I'll put in the description why like a written description of why you should include this, right? So anyways, once we include that, then we're gonna put SRAND and notice is unsigned int and speed and seed, sorry. So we could put unsigned here and what um and then we put time null or zero now what unsigned means it means that the number cannot be negative it generates always it always generates a positive number right but since it's already unsigned we'll just delete that and just put time zero and basically this generates a C time which is third set and I don't really know in depth what C time really does but I read once that or and I heard it from people that the SRAN basically takes your computer's time and from that it generates a random number so it ensures that um, the random number is an illusion so basically random numbers there's no such thing as a random number just like there's no such thing as the anime as um uh, like animation is an illusion the like animation is just a series of pictures that are put so together so fast that it looks like it's moving just like when you watch a movie a movie just a series of pictures that move so fast it looks like it's one each picture but it's just a series of pictures so same with um the random the random number is just an illusion and the s random function helps create the illusion Without the SRAN function, then it it, it would just it won't um the computer has a set way of generating random numbers, just like one three five seven nine. Then it would go back to one three five seven nine. Like that's a set way of generating random numbers. So it's not as simple as that. I've just made it sound simple, but it's it wouldn't be ran it wouldn't really be random without the SRAN function. So once I create that, I put rand. And I'm gonna equal it to rand the opening closing 
I put the modulus operator and I'm gonna put 10 and what this will do is um generate from 0 to 9 now if you learn this basically so any number you divide by with 10 will spit out the remainder will either be ranging from 0 to 9 right so that's why the random number will spit out 0 to 9 right it spits out random the the modulus modulus means the remainder of 10 so it spits out the remainder of 10 and that's from 0 to 9 so say you wanna um, it to range from 1 to 10 then you'd put 10 plus 1 modulus 10 plus 1 and basically that would spit out a random number from 1 to 10 so instead of me just talking about it let me make a program um, for you to see its capabilities and power so I'm gonna make this little program so you should already know what a for loop is if you don't know go to my earlier tutorials and basically I'm gonna make a loop 20 times and I'm gonna set rand equal to rand what I had before um modulus 10 plus 1 and then I wanna put c out i I'm just doing this for a personal reason just to so it show which number is spitting out um, which random number is spitting out then we put rand and uh, and so basically it's going to spit out random numbers between 1 to 10 20 different times and then it's going to go to return 0 and then our program is going to close so control F5 and it's building and as you can see this spits out random numbers from 1 to 10 and it, on the left I just said it to do that so then it shows which numbers which numbers on and at the bottom it says um conversion from time t to unsigned and possible loss of data so I believe they just wanted to put unsigned there um if we run this let's see if we still get that error and no we don't get that error anymore and you see the numbers are different this time so uh this um, so this is just how you generate random numbers and if you get that error just put unsigned it's just basically saying that it's converting an integer which is time to unsigned but if you put unsigned here in brackets it makes it unsigned so it doesn't have to convert it so it would be better to do it this method and no you can put zero or null in here I don't know what will happen if you put a, another number in there but I never tried it before so you can experiment with that and I hope this tutorial helped and I'm going to be posting a video on testing your skills so you can use this to test your skills and um, look forward to that so hope you like this and bye